What's up guys, my name is ESO and welcome back to the channel. Let me just sort out the chat so I can see everyone and then we're good to go. Today we're going to be playing Skyrim Beyond Broomer again, which is a giant fan made mod. If you guys didn't know, I've got a whole playlist of the previous episodes in the description. But this episode, we're going to try and find Cloud Ruler Temple. Spoiler, we already know exactly where it is from Oblivion. It's this building just here. Or at least it should be. So we're going to head over there, up the mountain, east out of this gate here, and I think we can work our way up. We should be able to reach it. Also, I have a surprise for you guys. Due to popular demand, if we turn around here, Lydia! Oh, she's facing the other way. Come on, Lydia, you're meant to make a big Still impression. Here. Lydia is back. I have respawned her. Back from the depths of hell, Lydia has returned to block every doorway in Skyrim for us, because that is why we love her. So she's going to join us I've on this adventure. Back. Oh, we've still got, I'm a Thane, what does that mean? <laughs> okay, Lydia, we come with follow. me. I think we're going to leave from the East Gate. I think that's gonna be the best way to go about this. Yeah, last episode was hilarious, guys. Oh my God, I think it was like the best stream so far. Like, it was just so much funny Us stuff guards are well trained. We miss nothing. Just keep so we go left out the city, we should be able to work our way up the mountain here. Ugh. I'll need to bathe thoroughly to get this stench off me. You smelly peasant, Lydia. How dare you. Oh, there's actually a stable here. Maybe I could buy myself a horse. <coughs> Hello? Anyone here? Oh, <laughs> she's hiding behind a wall. What is it? I'd like to buy a paint horse. Sure thing. Got one already if you have the coin. Three thousand gold. Hmm. What do you think, Lydia? Great. Got her all saddled up for you out in the yard. Take good care of her. Okay, we're good. Hello. Uh, do you get a lot of problems at the stable? Life as a stable master isn't so bad. It can be downright rewarding sometimes. Why is she staring at the wall? Though, and I'm embarrassed to admit this, but... Well, we did lose a horse a few weeks ago. The owner's incredibly upset, as you can imagine. According to a few people nearby, it galloped off to the north, but I don't know where it could have gone to or why. A free horse, Lydia. Sadly, I haven't had the time to look into it either. Okay, I could get the horse, but I'm definitely keeping it. <laughs> Believe me, Traveler, if you do that for me, I'd be very grateful. Like I said, it went off to the north. I'd start there. Lydia's level of block depends on your skill level. At level 50, I think she levels up with you until level 50. And she should have 100 block, yes. I think she also has 100 heavy armor and one-handed. Or level 60 one-handed or something like that. Anyway, come Lydia. I didn't actually buy you a horse, I can't afford it, so you're going to have to just this land's tough and walk behind me or something. I don't know. <laughs> 3,000 septums. I know, what's the world coming to? I did have a horse, but I don't know where it is. It definitely wasn't in the stable, so I had to buy another one. At one point in this Let's Play, though, we did have a horse. Okay, let me have a look in the map here. So, oh my god, I've got wrong. Don't worry, we can conquer all mountains with this beast. I have to keep referring to the map here just to check we're on the right track. We want to go up here, so I think I might actually have to go back along this path. And then to the right. I mean to the left even. Yeah, you haven't missed much. I only started nine minutes ago. Oh look, oh my god, we need to kill this deer. One second. Wait just there. Okay, this dagger is not going to work. Let's use the bow. Here we go. It's just perched on the cliff edge. Oh my god, yes. Right in the... Oh my goodness, in the kidney. Get wrecked. You can see the wizard's tower off there in the distance. We visited that in the second episode. Oh my god, what's going on? That was strange. Okay, so if we go over to the north, we 
should be able to get to Cloud Ruler Temple. I wonder if you can actually see it on the mountain top or if it's just like covered in trees. I'm hoping we'll get an excellent welcome from the blades. Because we helped them back in Oblivion when we saved the whole of Cyrodiil. Oh my god, what the fuck is... Are these the horses? Wait. Let's have a look at this. What's going on here? I don't know if... I never know when approaching people in this game if they're bandits or not. These people look quite safe, though. Speak to the mysterious uh, bossman. Hello. Uh, what brings you here of all places? Oh, I'm looking for the horses that disappeared from the stables of Bruma. Because you have, like, three horses here. Oh, really now? That's interesting. Very interesting. Almost as interesting as, say... Rodmeth. I love a good mug of, of Rodmeth. In fact, we... Now, get him! Oh, shit. I was Be about to have a drink. Sick. Fucking hell, Lydia. Yeah. Well, we found the bloody horses. These, these bandits have stolen them. I Look at this guy. He's a I savage. Get wrecked, mate. You're not savage enough for me and Lydia. Oh, oh Lydia, you just got a fucking warhammer to the face there. My god. I like how they're named Shady Character. Don't worry, Lydia. I've got this guy. Oh, I missed. Oh, okay. And then Lydia hits him, of all people. Mate, get a headshot. Get wrecked! I knew there was something shady about these characters. <laughs> Hence the title. Okay, so we've killed the horse thieves. Okay, let's quickly go and tell... Oh, a message. Let's go and tell the lady that we found her horses, and then we'll go over to Cloud Ruler Temple. I'm going to give Lydia this orcish bow. And I want to give her lots of blades armor. Once we, we uh, get to Cloud Ruler Temple, we can sort her out. Here's what we're going to do. We'll set up the camp in the Geralds and lure the horses away with the promise of some sweet rot meth. Oh, that's what it was on about. For some reason, in my experience, they seem to love it. Even the smell of it. We'll bring them down here and keep them here until we can find a buyer. Simple, easy way to get rich. We'll be living the high life in no time. Emergency procedure! If someone should discover us while we're here, incriminating evidence like horses visible, I'll distract them with my idle conversation. If you hear me, use the code word ROTMETH and you'll know to get in position and then I'll sig you, signal you and that's how we got ambushed basically. Oh, that's pretty cool how they, you know, they leave that message there. It just adds a little bit of flavour into the game. I like that a lot. Corn, cornbread? I'm feeling quite peckish. I'll have that. Okay. Mate, you got wrecked. It's annoying that they don't have anything of that much value. Because obviously they didn't sell horses yet. So, what happened here? <laughs> Was there a horse standing on the table? Okay, right. So, we found all these horses. Oh, what's that? Oh, I thought it said buy horse. But it said bay horse. Okay, let's quickly go back up to Bruma. I'm just going to fast travel there because it's faster. And talk to the lady at the stables. I was just trying to have a sip of my tea when I got ambushed by a bunch of bandits. How savage is that? Okay, the stables are just down there. So. Lucky Lydia was with me. Absolute badass just took that guy out with the dual swords. He thought he was a boss. Good morning. Um, I found the missing horse. Or horses. There were like three of them. Oh, where was it? What happened to it? It was north, as you predicted. Stolen by some horse thieves. Fantastic news. So it's still alive? I I'll go get it as soon as I can. Thank you very much for your help, Traveler. Here. Have this coin as a token of my appreciation. 500 gold. Well, I need to do another four quests, or another few more quests, not four, until I pay back, get the horse money I paid until you to buy time. that horse back from you. Is my... Oh, fucking hell, where's my horse gone? Okay, so I've lost my horse now. Well, that's great. Thank you, thank you very much for the donation, Austin. I really appreciate it. I can't believe you stayed up till 1am in the morning in Alaska just to watch this stream. You're clearly an absolute legend, man. Thank you very much. Who's that guy over there? 
Oh, it's a guard. Watch my archery skills. Oh my goodness, that was dire. Don't worry, guys. We've got this. Just move out of my way. Okay, you're kind of in the way there. I trust you aren't up to anything illegal. Just hunting in the wilderness. Oh, I get wrecked. Okay, let's actually go up towards these mountains now. It's literally straight on up this hill. My horse was around here. I'm sure I left it around here anyway. Hmm, seems to have disappeared. Yeah, I brought Lydia back from the dead. We couldn't, we couldn't live without her, could we? I mean, you guys would have been as depressed as me. I lost sleep last night because she died. Had to bring Bay back. I'm just chasing this deer through the wilderness. As you do. This is where the horses were, but my horses just vanished. I'm not very impressed with the service the stable provides, to be honest. How do we get up this mountain? I thought there was going to be a gap here. Maybe if we go up to the sentinel statue and then we just walk across, that'll be easier. I've never seen anything quite like that. Have you not, Lydia? Oh, there's actually something else cool I really want to show you guys, because um, before... I don't know if I still have it, actually. Where is it? Hmm. Here it is. Treasure map. So, as you can see, that statue there is the statue we're standing right in front of. It's called the Sentinel Statue. So, this is a treasure map I found off a of bandit, and this is the statue. So, if north is that way, so we face this way, let's just hop down here quickly. Right, so, if I look on the map, I want to find this treasure, see what's inside it. Might be something unique. Um, okay, so you go down the path, you snake down it, and then there's like a little cave after the bend. Right, okay, we can do that, that's pretty easy. So let's get back on the path. So you snake around the path, like this. And then apparently... You go down here, and there should be like a little alcove with a chest in, just in here. Is there? Ah, oh, yes, there is. Here it is. The secret treasure chest. An ebony emerald ring. Bloody hell, that looks cool. Uh, refined moves. Uh, it's all right. Okay. Well, at least you guys know where it is now. The bandit you kill to get that treasure map, by the way, is just north of Frostcrag's Spy. He's like down this pathway. Just here. So if we go across here, we should be able to get to Cloud Ruler Temple. In fact, I can already see the map marker on my map. It's quite a mountain to get up, though. I think if we head up to the right here, it should be... Oh, shit, is that a troll? That is a troll. Let's wreck this troll. He's just scratching his back, mind his own, minding his own business. And then he gets an arrow to the face. Oh, my God! Get wrecked. Archery skill increased to 94. See if we can take out this deer for good measure. Ah, oh, it probably just went over his head, didn't it? ESO, can I... Ha! <laughs> Pre-cooked bacon says, ESO, can I use your Khajiit character as a towel? That is probably one of the funniest comments I've seen in a while. Good banter. Let's have a look at the view quickly. Because we can see Bruma down there. Quite a nice view. To be honest, there are too many trees in the way, aren't there? Okay, so Cloud Rooted Temple is apparently just up here. At least there's a pathway up to it. Ah, let's have a look at this. It's like a little shrine or something. The amount of times I've been ambushed in this game is quite a lot. I think every episode I get ambushed at least once by something trying to kill me. And it always takes me by surprise. I never expect it. Well, I've robbed whosoever shrine this was. I wonder why everyone's burnt to a crisp. Maybe they have struck by some kind of lightning. Oh, okay. What's this? Oh, some, some trolls. Why are they jumping up and down on the hillside? You stupid trolls. Lydia, I've got this one. Don't worry, Lydia, he's mine. 
Okay, I may have missed him, Lydia. You might have to help me out here. I'm going to put you down. That's right, Lydia. Get wrecked. Oh, that was a shit kill cam. What was that? Skyrim, what are you doing? That terrible kill cam. This will not be on PS4. It will be on Xbox One. Um, the reason why they can't put it on PS4 is because PS4 doesn't allow external assets. The only way I can imagine... They would put it on PS4. 40,000 more subs until 1 million. Jesus, it's so crazy. Can't believe it. The only way I, I imagine they put it on PS4 is if um, they put it on the Creation Club. But I understand that the Beyond Skyrim team doesn't ever want to get people to pay for this. They want it to be free. Yeah, it's a bit overgrown here, isn't it? Right, the blades. Oh, okay. Is this... Oh my god, it's like... This temple is a ruin. I thought the blades would still be around here. What the hell? Okay. It's all fallen down. It's in, like, disrepair. No wonder it's so overgrown. Holy shit. Is that a body? Oh my god. A worn katana. I'm going to use this katana. I'll play my part. Don't worry, Lydia. We will avenge whoever did this. Why are they dead? What happened? I honestly didn't expect this. I thought it would be like an oblivion. We'd go up to the temple and there'd be like a bunch of blades here and we'd be able to get some quests and talk about the oblivion crisis or something. Like, But no, the whole temple has just been ruined. Okay. Jesus, what happened, man? This game will come out for Skyrim Special Edition as well. That's how you'll get it on console, and it will also come out on Skyrim Special Edition for PC as well. So we can actually go inside here. Okay. Wonder what is inside. You. Oh. Yeah. This is a war zone. What are you doing here? Fine. If you won't leave, go. Find Alina. Tell her we need her at the front immediately. That was fucking creepy. Started the way home. Right. Let's undo this quest. Find Alina. Telling her... Okay, so, nestled high in the Gerald Mountains, I found the ruins of Cloud Ruler Temple, the ancient home of the Blades. An order of warriors in the service of the Emperor. They were like the Emperor's personal bodyguards, if you didn't know. They were very important throughout the... Um, throughout the story of Oblivion. If you guys see my Oblivion Let's Play, you would know. Oh, and if you guys want to vote for if I continue the Oblivion Let's Play or carry on doing Bruma, uh, there's a vote link in the description below. So, this place warned me that this... Okay, so let's go and find Alina. Not telling me anything new, I don't know. This place is absolutely fucked. Look, they've still got the katanas from the old blades on the wall. Basically, all the blades that die get their, their katana put on the wall as, like, a memorial. Which is pretty awesome, like, attention to detail. So, the east wing. Ah, it's Elena. This must be her corpse, right? Yeah. She's got a note. The past two years haven't gone easy on us. I got used to dis disgrace and sorrow as soon as I joined the Blades. Oh, that's not very nice. The first news I've ever had of during my recovery when the deaths of my brothers, the agents, were slaughtered by dozens. By the dozens at the hands of the Dominion. Oh, so the Almeri Dominion must have come here and killed them all. And my wounds condemned me to bed rest. Unable to walk to help. The bad news never ceased. I started mourning for the loss of my comrades daily until it spilled over to our home. I know it's not going to end anytime soon. We're forced to sit tight, twiddling our thumbs in the temple by an emperor too afraid to take the fight to aggressors. Oh my god. I sit shaking every night waiting for the emperor to drown in his last days in blood and yet it's foolish on this day of bloodshed to have such hope i still i met rash raslam this morning before the alarm rang it was just the two of us he fits okay so apparently they were attacked how long is this message i guess not too long even now that's the hours past so she's just talking about how they're attacked and now they're under siege this could be the end of us, but maybe after this siege, it will be all over. 
So much has changed since the, I first crossed the gates of Cloud Ruler, dying and covered in Thalma blood. I'm sure I can still help somehow. I know mine was the right choice. Wow, okay. Let's equip the blade's armor. Wait, Alina, she's... dead? I... You'll have to hold my rear, but you'll stand no chance with that weapon, even if it is an Akaviri Katana. Grab one of the old consecrated blades. Glenroy should do, from the armory. Meet me in the West Wing with Glenroy's blade, and we'll make our final stand. Oh, a unique weapon. It sounds like it anyway. I like how he said, hold my rear. <laughs> worn Katana. So the Worn Katana only does like 9 damage. I don't know when the game will be out for special edition. On PC it should be out reasonably soon. So this is the Glenroy's Katana. It does 16 damage. What? That's sick. 16 damage. It's just like a, a buffed up Katana. Where's the other one? This one only does 9 damage, obviously. Let's drop that on the floor. Ta-da! Wow, okay. Oh, an elven sword. Worn elven sword. This must be this must be where all the Thalma and the blades were fighting. Let's take this and we can give it to Lydia. Why has this guy got a bucket on him? See if there's any other armor. Yep, there's a helmet here and there's gauntlets. Right, okay, let's dress Lydia up in Blade's armor. I'm right behind you. And then we can go avenge the Blades as the How Blades. Can I serve you, my Thane? Right, take one of those. Might as well give two gauntlets to her. <laughs> She's got her eyes closed. Why has she got her eyes closed? She looks like such a tart. <laughs> Might as well give her some gems as well. Oh, fine clothing. Fine clothing for Lydia. Okay, I'm going to wear this actually, because to be honest, otherwise I'll get killed. Oh, can I give her the blade shield? Yes, I can. Blade's helmet. No, okay, right. Can I give her a weapon that's better than the current one she has? I'll give her one glass dagger. I mean, that's going to be better than what she currently has. You lead, I'll follow. Sword wise, I'll use this katana. Let's do this. Let's go to the West Wing. Huh? I reckon there's going to be some crazy. Dead Thalma come back from the dead to kill us or something. You're here. You're wielding Glenroy's blade. Excellent. Is it an ancient and revered weapon? Carry it proudly. All right, let's go. Where are we going? Who is this guy? Speak with Dan. Raslan. He's dead. And the roof. Rubble. You what? Man, everyone is dead here. How depressing. Coin purse. Blade sword. Ah, oh, so this is a, a unworn version of the blade sword. We can give that to Lydia in a moment. Corvin is dead. Alina is dead. They're all dead. And the roof. Is this it? Have we lost the fight? Well, mate, you're still fighting, apparently. Wait, you don't know that you're dead. You're translucent. Yeah, I found your skeleton in the armory. Tell me what happened here first. I... The Dominion. They're, they're marching on Cyrodiil. The false emperor is doing nothing to defend us. And now they're laying siege to the temple. They set up siege weapons, catapults, trebuchets. Their battle mages rain fire on us from above. They've broken through the front lines and are closing in. It's nearly lost. 
and if Felina and Corvin have fallen. Wait, you don't know that you're dead as well? Wait, what? I... Oh, by the divines! Okay, preserve me. And Cloud Ruler Temple is lost. The blades are broken. My order is no more. As am I. Thank you for showing me the truth, friend. You've spared me endless torment. Though I fear that the truth isn't much more comforting. Meet me back in the Great Hall. There are rites to perform. Perhaps then I'll be able to feel Arke's embrace at last. I wonder why he is a ghost. Right, let's go into the Great Hall. Is he going? Yeah, he is. Great. After you, sir. He takes his time, doesn't he? Jesus. This is the Beyond Skyrim mod, yes. Let's see what he does. The time has come, friend. Oh, Place shit. our blades into the fire. Release our spirits. Grant us rest in Aetherius. Completed. Okay, so One set... man's trash is another's treasure. Okay, Lydia. He wants me to put the blades in the fire. Place blades in flames. The fire burns brightly before you. Raslang is asked that you place the blades of the three ghostly blades members in the fire so they may rest in peace. Right. Oh, right, so do I need to go and get all the other blade swords? I think I do. It's a bit weird how we have to do this ritual first, but fair enough. So, can I pick this up? Got that katana. I think, is that all of them now? I think we picked up Elena's, didn't we? Only there's one more, apparently. Alright, let's go grab that. We are in the same place as Oblivion is based, but in the time period of Skyrim. Oh, I see. We need a sword. Great. So, after just getting these awesome swords, I need to go and burn them. God damn it. Uh, yep. Place this blade. Into Thank the fire. you. Gods guide you. Okay. Talos protect you, friend. Thank you for releasing me. Right. Do I need one more sword? I... It's giving me quest markers to go over there. Oh, right. Maybe it's because I've got it equipped. I don't know. Let's try it now. No. There must be another blade then. Let's quickly go and find that. Why is there still a quest marker here? That doesn't make sense. Oh, right, there must be one in the basement that we missed. Here we are. I thought this quest hey, would be a bit more exciting than um, burning some ancient blade swords. I guess it's very uh, lore-led, though, isn't it? I think we will have to kill the Thalmor after this. Thank you, my friend. Now, let us speak. You have freed us, friend. You have my eternal thanks. You may keep Glenroy's blade. My soul will empower it. It is an ancient artifact of our order. But our order is broken. That is awesome. Use it to uphold our legacy. Yo, Glenroy's blade, though. Let me unequip this helmet, because I want my ears to come out. Let's have a look at Glenroy's blade. Deals 10 points of fire damage and 10 extra points of damage against dragons. Okay, so it's kind of like a... It's a bit like Dragonrend, the sword you get in Skyrim, which does 40 points of electric damage against dragons if you get it at a certain level. Um, but this one does fire damage and 10 extra points against dragons. So it's all right. It's nothing amazing. Let's give Still it to Lydia. Here. Um, let's trade some stuff. I'm at your command. Uh, I'm going to give you this sword. Give you a hunting bird as well. Oh, one sec. Why can't I give it to her? 
Oh right, I'm holding it, that's why. Might as well have this sword as well. There you go, Lydia. Enjoy. And I'm going to give her this orcish bow as well. And if you give them one orcish arrow, then it's kind of like they have unlimited arrows. So I'm just going to give her one orcish arrow. And she'll do more damage. You lead, I'll follow. Okay, let's leave this accursed place. I'm disappointed that the blades have fallen to the fucking Thalma, man. Jesus. They're such a cool, like, band of... Why have... I can't believe the Thalma killed them. I'm so sad about that. Look at that view, though. Holy raw. That is incredible. You can actually see the White Gold Tower just to the left of the, the chapel. You see that really faint white line? It's just there. That's the uh, Imperial City. Oh, it's not Dragon Rend. It's Dragon's Bane. Thank you for correcting me. I think being dyslexic, sometimes words just get muddled up in my head. Okay, so we've been to Cloudrua Temple. Now, I'd like to go back to the city of Bruma and see if we can get some more quests. There's one, there's a map marker for Plundered Mine. Plump Bandit Ringleader of Plump Rat Camp. I wonder where this is. Oh, okay. Plump Rat Camp. Should we go and kill this bandit leader then? That sounds fun. And it's kind of in the middle of nowhere, isn't it? It looks like there's some alien ruins over there. Right. Place some map marker there. Okay, so I think if we go to Bruma Western Watchtower. Actually, let's go and get some supplies. And then we'll go over here. It's quite steep to get down there. I wonder if I can get down this little crevice. We'll find out in a moment. First, I kind of want to get some potions. Before the shops close. Right. How do you do? How do you do? Have you come to learn or just to bother an old collector? Just to bother you. I resurrected Lilia from the dead. That's how she's back. Why are you looking for my husband, Ralgar? He's probably out hunting or something. You, Hello. Hello. Take a look. Uh, right. What do you have? I want some potions. I need some health potions. You have one potion of healing. I will take that. Uh, also, I need a potion of cure disease. I'm going to sell you some crap I don't need as well. There's no point in me carrying around the blades armor everywhere. All this. Still have a lot of gold, don't you? Oh, yeah, I'll just give you that. How's business? Business is always good for a general goods merchant like myself, since I don't rely on any particular thing to draw in sales. Take poor old Fadal, the butcher, for example. If someone doesn't want meat, he doesn't have a customer. But me? Someone doesn't want meat. They want silverware. Don't want silverware? How about a potion? And so on and so on and so on. Okay, makes sense. What's your most popular item? Hmm, most things are very popular. The only thing that isn't popular is cutlery. <laughs> Why's that? Turns out the Nords aren't all that big on table etiquette. <laughs> he looks angry Why? about that. I wonder if there's anything I can steal. No. Nothing enchanted around here. Uh, I don't know if you will be able to buy a house. I assume that... Um, you'll be able to buy the same houses that you can buy in Oblivion when they eventually roll out the other cities, but uh, I'm not 100% sure, to say the least. Uh, right, so this is the Mages Guild. They might sell some potions. Probably worth a check. What's the time? It's 7pm. Mm, I don't think they will anyway. Fighters Guild, they won't. Ooh, hello. Small child, come back. Why are you running away? What's the hurry? Right, maybe if I go and talk to the innkeeper, she might have some food. Yes, traveller? What do you need? I don't know if there is an alchemy place around here. Either way, let's wait until morning. 
and then we will go off and explore. Yeah, the sound, they've made their own soundtrack for the game. It's really, really good. It's uh, kind of like a cross between Oblivion and Skyrim music. More so Oblivion, I'd say, and it works really well. And this is just the soundtrack for this province of Bruma and the Gerald Mountains. So I assume they might even roll out other soundtracks for when they release the other cities and sort of holds around Cyrodiil. So I'm thinking, we've got to get down here. I think we'll go down that little rocky cliff and see what happens. Ah, oh, it's my fucking horse. Where the hell did this come from? Thank you very much. I'll take it. There's actually a location over here. Maybe we can try and get over there. Sorry, horse. Sorry about that, bro. See if we can explore whatever this thing is. It looks like a village. There is a house over here, I wonder. Okay, here we are. Might be some more quests at this village. Oh, it's Apple Watch! Wasn't there a request here in Oblivion to assassinate a poor lady farmer or something? I'm sure there was. I'm, I'm sure of something here that was going on. Anyway, I don't want to do this right now. I want to go and um, we'll explore this area later. I want to jump off this cliff top first. I'm pretty sure Apple Watch is where you had to kill, you had to assassinate that lady. Oh my god, like, that is a fucking long way down. Luckily I have a horse and they can do whatever they feel like on mountains. Oh my god, how does one get down there? I assume the best way to get down would actually be to follow this river all the way around. But, uh, nah, mate. I'm more boozy than that. <laughs> YOLO. Look at all this fog. Well, I can't see a clear way down, that's for sure. Wee! <laughs> I love doing that, it's so funny. I'm absolutely <gasps> fine. <laughs> My tail's still wagging. <laughs> Let's try that again. The nice thing about riding a horse down a cliff is if the horse dies, they take most of the full damage, so you can still survive. It's very law friendly, guys. I mean, this is as realistic as it gets, isn't it? Oh shit. I thought my horse was going to die there. Okay, there are some enemies just down there, and they're actually mages. So let's get off our horse just here. Probably almost dead anyway. Oh, I got my fists out. I need a bow. Where's Lydia when you need some help? Oh my god. Look at all these necromancers. They're so tanky. I'm glad they don't know where I am, apparently. They were just looking around, aimless. Oh, I hate you when they do that. When they, like, somehow dodge your arrows. Like, look, watch. See if they dodge it. How are you dodging that? Okay, get wrecked. Silly necromancers. It's actually a lot warmer down here, though, isn't it? Compared to the frosty mountains of the north. Really? That didn't kill you? I'm glad they can't see me. Oh dear. Well, you're just a novice necromancer, so get wrecked, mate. I think we sneak attack the master necromancer, which is uh, pretty decent. Mate, what are you doing? Look at this nasty ass zombie. Get out of here. Get out of here. Iron arrow. Necromancer boots. Interesting, that's new. I can't see any other enemies around here. 
What difficulty are we on? Good question. Only apprentice. That'll be why. There's meant to be a cave around here somewhere though, so let's discover this cave so when we do come back here for a quest later on, I assume, it'll be easier to discover. In fact, this sort of necromancer area is unmarked on our map. There is just a cave nearby, over there. Interesting. <laughs> Someone says, finally, no snow. I am also very happy about this. It's quite a nice change when you don't have any snow around. Underpool Cave. That sounds like it leads somewhere. Um, right, we've got to go down here then. Let's head over. Oh, I left my horse back there, didn't I? Damn it. What the hell is this person doing? I don't know if they're... Good. Oh shit, they are there bad. You are. Is that Lydia? Yes, Lydia! She's back! Necromage! Get wrecked. Yeah, fucking wrecked, mate. Look, they've actually got... It's kind of like a uh, a plague doctor mask on. So they don't have to smell the stench of, um, you know, the dead corpses they're reminating. I thought it was pretty cool. I mean, look at it. It's like the plague doctor mask. Let's put it on and see what we look like. Um, what else do I want? Here we go. Oh. Oh, <laughs> It doesn't work on a Khajiit's face. Ah, I wanted to wear it though. That looks so dumb. We have to take it off. There we go. That's better. It like clips through my face because my Khajiit face is too big for it. Oh, some nin roots. I will take this. I love the forest. It looks awesome. Okay, we're pretty close, I think. Oh, no, we're not. Still quite far. Let's just work our way up this mountain here. There's something, because I was almost seen just then. Just don't know what by. Their encampment is up that cliff. So you've got to find the best way to approach it. Oh, look, Coral. I remember Coral. Rumor Imperial City, Shaden Hall. Oh my God. Apple Watch. We can't actually go any further this way, Mister. I wonder how far we can get. Maybe we'll explore in a moment. I think I dropped the mask. I, did I drop it? Yeah, I did. Sorry, guys. We'll find another one, I'm sure, and then I can give that to Lydia. But to be honest, I like to see her face, so she's not walking around in a, in a mask. Right, so that camp is up here. I can see the, the wooden stakes that have been put in the ground there. This is probably the worst direction to approach it from, but I want to see if I can take out the, the lookout. What do you mean, who plays Skyrim anymore? Everyone plays it. And it's like the oldest game that people still play. Okay, here we go. I honestly don't know if that's the bandit leader or what. Or is it a statue? No. Bandit Highwayman. Okay, I've alerted the whole fucking camp by firing that one arrow. Okay, I'm detected. This hasn't gone well, Lydia. Jesus fuck. Where the hell did that come from? Oh my god. Ah! <laughs> Hello! Oh! Oh, oh we can't hit her. <laughs> She's just aiming at me like... Today you die. 
Oh shit, mate. I'm gonna get wrecked. <laughs> that mage was not messing about. Oh. Oh no. Oh god. Don't hit me. You have so much health. Why do you have so much health, Faye? I just need to keep staggering her and then we'll be fine. Oh god. Oh! You got right in the fucking head. <laughs> she nailed me in the face. Oh my god. That, that actually scared me a little bit. Where's Lydia? Where the fuck is Lydia? Man. Got wrecked. I got wrecked, guys. There must be a better way of approaching this camp. Like, up that mountain, I had no visibility over anyone. They just had the upper hill advantage. Jesus. Oh, you can't go that way. So this, this right here is as far as you can go, I think. There's like a circle around it. Just here. So as far as we can explore right now. Right. We're going to have to figure out another way around them. We're going to have to go through the main entrance. Like bottleneck them or something. Or maybe we could climb on top of that cliff which is just above the bandit camp. I'm not sure, guys. I'm sure we'll figure it out, though. Either way, like, Lydia always shows up when I'm in trouble, but not when you're on a cliff because she can't get there. She's too dumb. Right, I want to get on top of this cliff here and then shoot them from... Oh, shit. That's it, Lydia. Get in there. I just heard her take an arrow to the chest. We should be able to take out this guy pretty easily. Oh, my God. There's support. They've got support, Lydia. We are not alone. Don't worry, Lydia. I've got your back. Get wrecked, mate. Get fucking wrecked. Leave Lydia alone. Leave Brittany alone. That's right, Lydia. Tank all that damage like the absolute fucking savage you are. Get wrecked. How does that feel, huh? Oh, Lydia. I wanted to play with him, but you were just like, let's slaughter him right now. Okay, so Iron Arrow is nothing of use, but I'm getting attacked by some more bandits up here. Ooh, not you. You, sir, bandit highwayman. You hurt a lot. Can't even see where he's gone. There he is. I'll carve you in two. I don't know, Lydia's just set you on fire because she's an absolute savage. Look at her. Please, Go on, Lydia. Finish him off, Lydia. Do it, Lydia. Go on, Lydia. Okay. No, maybe. Just going to punch him in the face with your shield. I'm Lydia, what's going on, man? Kill him. Me. Do it, Lydia. Oh, my God. Fuck's sake, Lydia. I'll do it. Get wrecked. Oh, shit. Sorry. Almost took an arrow, arrow to Lydia's knee there. Let me pull out my dagger and do fuck all. Look at this person. She's getting wrecked in her knee. Right in the knee. Oh, kneecapped. A-lid arrows. Really? Okay. I need some more arrows, bro. Oh, fuck. Lydia, over there. Where the hell is he? There he is. Oh, shit. Oh, I saw that, like, really late. I saw the arrow heading over towards me in super slow motion. And then, like, I realized, oh, no, it's too late. Look at this guy. Where is he going? This guy's a bit lost. <laughs> Look out behind you, Lydia. Oh, my God. I saved your fucking life. What are you doing, you idiot? Just standing there getting pelted by arrows. Let me uh, have a fortify health potion. Fortify health, please. Got loads of skooma. I'm sure I had... Okay, chocolate of health, that'll do. Where has he gone? He's still up there, isn't he? I don't want to get hit by another arrow. Oh, there he is. I can see him. 
Get back on your ledge, Sonny Jim. Oh! He's firing arrows at me like a badass. Fucking Robin Hood battle over here. Who will win? Genuinely can't see him. Oh, yes! Oh, that went a bit wide there, mate. I'm, you're going to have to do better. The ultimate arrow duel. Some guy with a claymore just running over in the distance. Don't think so, buddy. You won't be best me twice. Oh, ho! that went right past my shoulder. Okay, Lydia, we've got we've got problems here. Oh god, he hit me. Where's Lydia gone? Shit, that's a fucking fireball. Oh my god. <laughs> Jesus Christ. There is a mage in here. I forgot about the mage. Damn. Let's hop over here. Right, we've got the doorway. Oh my god. I'm still on fire. That's why I'm losing health. Is that Lydia? No, it's not. It's not Lydia. Thank god. Oh shit. Fuck me. Is that the ringleader? Oh my god. Run away! <laughs> oh my days. It's not going well, guys. I've got this. All I need to do is kill the bandit ringleader, but we've got to kill all the henchmen as well. Otherwise, they'll just get another ringleader. Where's Lydia gone? Has Lydia died? Did Lydia die? Please, someone ask me. Someone did... Where's Lydia? I can't see her. I'm genuinely worried. Oh, shit. The mage is over there. Run away. You'll never leave here alive. You can't dodge fireballs. That's the problem. Look at this guy. He's running with, like, ten arrows. Who the... F oh, fuck. <laughs> You see, you cannot dodge fireballs. <laughs> Damn it. Okay, we can do this. Lydia's still alive. We can do this. Lydia, back off. Back off, Lydia. We need to draw them out of the camp. Can't see him yet. Where's he gone? There he is. That's the mage. Anyway, fuck. That was close. Watch out, Lydia. Oh, God. He's going to hurt you. At least he's using electric spells. Is that an Argonian? Shit, Lydia. You're going to get wrecked. What are you doing? No, Lydia. They're too powerful for you. Oh, she's down. Oh, my God. Right, I need to find some form of cover from fireballs. Usually trees are pretty good. While we take out this bandit outlaw. We almost killed the leader last time. He doesn't seem to have shown himself yet, though. Alright, let's save the game again. Many saves, guys. Shit. Oh my god! Oh my god, I didn't do any damage to him. Come on, come on, we can do this. Okay, Lydia's there, Lydia's there. Okay, we've got this, guys, we can do this. Right there. Come on, Lydia. Keep him busy. Oh my god, he's gonna turn around and fireball me. Jesus Christ. Okay, he's dead, he's dead, we've done it. Lydia, get up, you peasant. He has been defeated. Potion of healing, I will take that, sir. I'm so glad he didn't use that potion of healing, otherwise he would have been even more fucked. Right, Lydia. Uh, quickly, I need How to trade some things. You, quickly give you some... Potions. Pilfer of health. Give you more health regeneration. Yeah, have, why do I have so many of these? Like, what the hell? Right, there you go. We're good. Let's get going, then. Let's get going. Save the game as well. Did I save? I don't know. Save again. Hey, bro, I'm right behind you. Get wrecked. Oh, it's a Khajiit. A Khajiit with a low sneak skill. Mate, you don't deserve to live. Look out, Lydia. Ah, oh, get wrecked. Owned. Get pooned. Okay. We're good. Oh, I bet that archer's still there. We're going to have to have a Robin Hood contest again. 
I can see that guy with a claymore. Just at the top there. He can't see me though. Thank you very much for the donation. Dra Dharma? Dar I don't know how I say your name. I'm so sorry. We can kill him. Don't worry. It's on the screen now so everyone can see it. Oh my god. Come on, Lydia. Finish him off for me. Don't worry, I'll save you from that. Is that uh, supposed to hurt? Well, actually, I think you'll find it will hurt. Oh god, not the bandit leader. Okay, you've got him, Lydia. I'll sort this guy out. You want to just attack him before he does a power attack like that? Does a lot more damage. Ready to die. No, leave her alone. She's so low. No, you don't. If you could just keep shooting before their power attack, they won't be able to do anything. Like that. Run, run. run you peasant. Get wrecked. What? How did he not die? <laughs> that was so weird. It like bounced off him. Woodcutter's axe. Okay. This is the bandit ringleader. We finally killed him. Battle axe of uh, scorching. I thought that was a warhammer, not a battle axe. What is this? Oh, what? I can't go this way. No! No! I want to go and see what's in that hut. Oh, my. fuck you, Skyrim. Can I... T... TCL. Camera. Yeah, let's have a look what was in there. Okay, so it's not really been finished, I guess. There's an alchemy lab. There's also a forge here. Oh, what? There's a boss chest. But I can't fucking get over here. Damn it. I'm assuming that's going to be fixed, fixed in a patch. There's also a chest here as well. Look, you can see the Imperial, ta the Imperial Tower. The Imperial City. The famous bridge leading up to it. I remember there was a guy in that farmhouse just there who would be like, Go and kill some slaughter fish for me and give me them their scales. That would be like his quest. There's an alien ruin over there. Anyway. Let's get back to it, boys. Sorry, I don't know why I can't get over there. It makes me very upset. Oh, look at this little uh, watchtower point, though. No wonder they saw me coming. I can see fucking everything from over here, can't I? I know, man. Like, we killed all the bandits and we can't even get the booty. The only booty I've got left is Lydia's. Oh, I can't go that way either. Damn it! This is a pretty cool location though. They've set up a whole bandit camp on the road here so you can't get past. Which I kind of like. The white gold tower is the um, the tower in the center of, center of the imperial city. Sorry. You didn't know what that was. Did I take your arrows? Yes, I did. Okay, so we've killed the bandits. We've done this. Now we can receive payment from the Count in Bruma. So let's go back to Bruma and get some, get some, get some dosh. The prey approaches. Sorry, what did you say? Hail, friend. You can't just say the prey approaches and then when I turn talk around and to talk later. to you face to face. Oh my god. Oh, look, a pumpkin. How the fuck are you not dead? We killed you last episode. Except the Come to speak to the best bard in all Tamriel. Unsurprising. You're so annoying. Go on, then, speak. He's worse than the adoring fan. Every game needs to have, like, an adoring fan. You know what I mean? What's so in Oblivion, we had the adoring fan who used to follow you around everywhere to go into GTFO. And in Skyrim, you had Nazim. And in this game, you have that bard sure who's just like the worst Mr. singer ever. It seems like every blacksmith in Skyrim it's quite funny. Lydia just chatting a load of BS behind me. Right, let's get out of it. What's the correct term for oh, look, an Imperial Citizen? Shut up, you dirty Thalmer scum. I don't know. 
I already went to the temple. Can um, I I'm going to upload this video after, so if you missed anything, you can just rewatch it. Hmm? What is it? I killed the ringleader of the bandits' camp at Plunder Rat Camp. Excellent work. The people of the county can rest easier tonight. There I, is oh, a well earned reward gold. from our treasury. I hate you. I hate you, Ragnar. See you around. You. Look, you have 44 gold. You could have given me 144 gold, maybe an emerald ring. I mean, can you even afford my services, sir? I know you're there. I hope you're not trying to pickpocket me. Uh, no. Never. The lizard has had too much skooma. Watch your back outside the city walls. You watch your back. We can't be back. charging to your aid if a timber wolf catches your scent. Fight me. I am a timber wolf. Look at me. Look at my fur. What the hell? Wait a second. Why is this guy dead? We didn't kill this guy. Why is he dead? I don't know. How has he died? Seriously, I have no idea. A shovel. There's nothing to suggest why he would have died. Oh well. You look like you've seen your share of adventure. I have, Lydia. You've been on all of my... We've been across the whole of Skyrim together. How do you not know that we've seen our share of adventures? You've come with me the whole way. You silly lass. We. Okay, right. Let's go and chat some people. Save the game. Ah, look. You see, I saw this guy earlier, but we didn't actually talk to him. Razada. Razada the Resplendent. Enchanter okay. Extraordinaire. Illusionist Incredible. Restorer Remarkable and Destructor. Distinguished at your service. That's a fucking long title, mate. Jesus. I'd like to see your unique enchanted items. Uh, of course, of course. Excellent. Well, I have five fabulous unique items in stock at the moment. Oh. Oh, the first is the wooden staff of awesome conflagration, which summons a tremendous fiery inferno at your target location. Extremely dangerous. What? The second is the scepter of frosty entombment, which is truly a unique frost staff. It will trap your target in a block of ice for ten minutes. Ten minutes. The third is the blade of prepotence, which causes your target, any target at all, to shrink, becoming supremely weak and vulnerable. That's hilarious. Fourth is the Staff of Titan Summoning, which summons a mighty Daedric Titan at what your target the location. Fuck? It will demolish all in its way. They sound amazing. Fifth is the Rod of Potency, which will certainly <laughs> bring great pleasure. That I can guarantee. Summons a lusty so, Argonian mate. Which maid. will it be? <laughs> oh, they're so cheap as well. What do you guys reckon? What should we get? The Daedric Titan? Okay. That sounds pretty extravagant. Or should we should we uh, prod Lydia with the Rod of Potency? <laughs> Let's get the Staff of Titan Summoning. Aha! Your foes will cower at the sight of a mighty Titan at your command. Aha! <sighs> what else can I say? Okay, no thanks. You will loss, but... Do reconsider. Yes, I will summon it in the city of Bruva, guys. Don't worry. Good afternoon. Let me browse your standard inventory. Ah, while they are regrettably significantly more banal than my exceptional unique items, I do keep a stock of some more pedestrian magical goods. Pedestrian? My god, you have... How are you carrying all these books around with you? Jesus Christ. You have every spell in the fucking game. Jesus. Glass Staff of Icy Spear. There's not actually a, a model for it yet. Um, robes of Restoration. Pretty soldier. Okay. Maybe I can just sell him some stuff that I don't need. Like my unenchanted soul gems. But I can't be bothered to do anything with them. Got any work that needs doing? Yes, indeed. To my great regret, a few scalawags here in Bruma appear to have paid their bills for their enchanted weapons from Rosada. I am beside myself with angst about this, as you can no doubt imagine. So, my fair and, might I say, rather imposing friend, 
If you would be willing to speak to these scoundrels and acquire my warranted compensation, I would be most obliged. Sure thing. Excellent! Allow me to arm you with more knowledge of the aforementioned mischief makers. You'll need to speak with Roland Wickert, the young chap at the Synod Conclave here in Bruma. Stantis Valeria is the second of these reprobates, the owner of the Geraldview Tavern. The third is Stable Master Ila the Upright. Really? Clearly the title was given rather than deserved. Do this for me, and I shall bestow coin upon you for each, and a truly copious recompense indeed once all three mischief makers are dealt with. I wonder if he gives us another cool staff. Do you have a house or a bed? Yeah, good question. What an intriguing inquest. I do indeed have a bed. Well, a bedroll. I do not own property in Bruma, for the city is full, and I am somewhat of a latecomer. That, and not being registered to any property, grants the Synod and College of Whispers less opportunity to persecute, hound, maltreat, and um, <clears throat> molest me. Molest you? As they are wont to do. What the hell? <laughs> molest you. Why hawk your wares in Bruma? Bruma is the last bastion of Imperial land before the border and the harsh ravages and independent college of Skyrim. Those poor souls who find themselves overcome with vexation at the shockingly bureaucratic nature of Cyrodiil's key magical institutions, well, they tend to, um, peregrinate to Skyrim. When the Imperial border guards halt them at the Selvage, so to speak, they lodge in Bruma. Thusly, my wares are in great demand. Aww. I'll play my part. So you're not with either the Synod or the College of Whispers? Why, of course not! No self-respecting mage joins those scurrilous syndicates. <laughs> oh, my friend, I'm strictly independent. That's what allows me to cut out the bumbledom and bring you only straightforward sortilage. Sortilage? Okay, let's let's oh, well. have a whack with this staff then, okay? Let's summon a Daedric Titan in the city of Bruma. Okay, here we go, guys. Where's the staff? Staff of fucking Titan summoning. I've heard those it's invisible. In have been trying We're to missing the texture model for it, so we have no idea what it looks like. But hey, let's have a go. What the hell? What the fuck? No. What? That's bullshit. No! He, he fucks me over, man. What the fuck is this, Lydia? This is torture. He sold me a staff that summons a burning fucking rabbit. I was so excited. Where the fuck is that wanker? You bastard. Come here. Hello there. This item I brought you seems to be a lit- Okay, it's fucking terrible, mate. Ah, uh, you've purchased yourself a fine enchanted item from Rosada the Resplendent and found it somehow <clears throat> unsatisfactory? Yes! I'm afraid I make my refund policy clear. That is, there are none. No refunds. I mean, not no policy. Ugh. There is a policy. Very much so, in fact. Thoroughly to get this stench off me. What? He said nothing about a refund policy. Oh, did I not? Ah, must have slipped my mind. My sincerest apologies, but all sales are final. What? Give me a refund or I'll rearrange your smug face. You think you alarm me? I possess the ability to enkindle you within a conflagration of arcane incandescence. No, you don't. You're as a torch bug upon my robe. Don't give me that bullshit. Now, be gone. Rizada the Resplendent, Enchanter Extraordinaire. I'm going to try and I'm going to try his other star. Remarkable on here. and uh, of course, the first, the second. The third, yeah, okay, I've heard your staffs. Fifth is I the buy them all. So, which will it be? Okay, give me this one. A wise choice, my friend. Let those miscreants... This staff will truly chill your foes. All oh, right. Um, and then the staff of prepotence. Ah, your foes will go running home to their mother when you're towering over them. Uh, and then the rod of potency. Your mistress can... <laughs> Thank me later. You dirty slut. Okay, let's wait until morning, and then we're going to try all these staffs out. And see what happens. I will definitely kill him. Do not worry. He's going to get wrecked. 
I just want to see if any of his staffs actually like last, what they all do. Okay, right. Um, we've used staff of Titan summoning. Summon an inferno on the target for a hundred damage every second. Let your bone, your foes burn with the fury of a million suns. Jesus Christ. Look, this description says summon an awesome Daedric Titan from Cold Harbor at your location to decimate your foes we'll on the battlefield. Right, so I've got this stuff equipped. Oh my god, I'm I set myself on fire. Are you fucking kidding me? Come here! Fear me, Lydia! Help you on this fine day. Right, so again. I'm going to kill you, God of Bruma! Fear me! What an absolute terrible staff. I've been ripped off here, guys. Let's use the other staff now. Hopefully this one doesn't kill me as well, because I'm quite low. Staff of Frosty Intbarment. Okay, right. This is meant to freeze him for 10 minutes. Okay. Heard some boot black disappeared in what the mountains. What the fuck? Rumor has it he ventured too far into some hidden... I'm a fucking ruin. chicken! This is awesome! What?! Oh my god, yes! Yes! This is what I've needed my whole life. Oh, I can sleep in... What? <laughs> bedroll owned. It's not a bedroll. Can I go... Can I... Oh, yes! T now we can adventure around Skyrim with no... No, what oh, is it? no, no, I want to become a chicken again. Wee! Yes. This is what I need in my life. I want to jump off a cliff and see if we can survive it. Hada! Oh my fuck! Oh my god, what the fuck happened? What? What? Okay. Let's try the next staff out. The Rod of Potency brings great pleasure. Lydia, come here. Oh, she's she's showing me her booty. She's ready. Heard there were ogres around. What the hell? Careful traveler. Oh, it paralyzes you. <laughs> Look how much pleasure I am having. Meow. <laughs> oh, yes. This is what I need more of in my life. I have got a funny idea, guys. Okay, I've got a really funny idea to do with the star. Right, okay, wait, wait. Uh, yeah, okay, well, it's good, it's good, it's good. Mm, let's go over here. Watch this, guys. Some of you probably already know what I'm doing, but... I've got a great idea. Uh, where do I want to go? I want to go south. Don't I? What the hell? My horse just appeared there. Right, you ready, guys? Oh, actually, I wonder what happens. Can you use it on your horse? What happens if you use it on your horse? You can't use it on your horse. Damn it. This Imperial looks fucking drunk. Okay, let's go over to a cliff. Ha 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 ha. Ha ha ha. Watch this, guys. It's going to be amazing. You guys are going to be blown away by this. Are you ready? I'm prepared to bring yourself great pleasure. You ready? Here we go. Wee! <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> what is going on? Could you imagine if you were in like a massive fight and you like were just like, I'm going to freeze you for ten minutes and then you just Use the staff and you're paralyzed and you just got beaten to death. That would be hilarious. This staff is fucking great. I mean, oh my god, yes. This was worth every penny of that 2,000 gold septums. Oh my god. Yeah, okay, we're going to reload now. Um, I'm going to try out the next staff. Let's do it. People are saying you can do a flip as a chicken. I was not aware of this. Okay, Rod of Potency. Rod 
No, no, that, that one actually worked. Have we used them all now? Is that all of them? We've used that one. We've done that one. We've done that one. One sec. Rod of Potency brings great pleasure. Did we do the Frost one? The Frost one was the chicken, wasn't it? Yeah. Okay, we've done them all. This was the chicken, wasn't it? I think it was. We Hello. Look at me. I'm a fucking chicken. Within the walls. How do you... Oh, what the hell? I'm, I can use shout while a chicken. Oh my god, I have a fantastic idea now. Let's use the unrelenting force shout as a chicken. Ha ha ha. We. Right. I can't use it yet. So I'm cool down. Wait, wait for me. I want to unrelenting force shout him as a chicken. Prepare yourself. <laughs> You peasant. Hear all this talk about a war? Rizada the Resplendent. Oh, hello. Enchanter extraordinaire. Why am I flying the air? Incredible. Sounds awesome. Remarkable and destructor. Distinguished. There we go. At your worst. <laughs> Kill him, Lydia. Oh my god. I'm dying. No. No, Lydia. Oh. I've been killed. <laughs> the blade. Oh, okay. I'll use the blade. I, I thought that blade seemed out of place, but then I thought I brought a staff from him. Okay, let's use the blade of prepotence. Causes your target to shrink, making them supremely weak. I bet it's going to make me shrink, isn't it? Oh my god. It puts you on like 1 HP and 20 magicka. It just keeps you on 1 HP. You can't kill yourself from it, though. Oh, shit, Lydia! Fuck you, Lydia. Enough! Enough! That was hilarious. Oh, my God. Okay, man. Let's wait one hour so I can actually... Bye. All right, let's talk to Is him. there something I can do for you? Um... Yeah, these are poor quality. Let's uh, see if I can persuade I him for my, my money back. Policy. Oh, did I not? Ah, must persuade. Have I'm afraid my refund policy is unmistakably, unequivocally, unambiguous. My wholehearted, forthright apologies. You bastard. Right, can we pickpocket him for all our gold? He doesn't even have our gold. It's nothing. Damn it, Lydia. We have to kill him, Lydia. Where's my glass dagger? Good morning. I'll give you a fucking good morning, mate. Get wrecked. See, no one, no one even knows. Oh, he had a quest, didn't he? Oh, placing you under arrest. Now, why? I didn't do anything your wrong. Piece. Um, I'd rather die than go to then prison. Pay with your blood. Right. Let's reload that and do his quest and see what he does after I've done his quest. Because I want to see if he gives us, like... Because he said he'd give us, like, something else. So I want to see if he gives you another unique staff or something. So I want to do this quest, man. So we've got to collect some debt from this guy. I bet he, I bet there will be like, oh, yeah, you know, he's an absolute wanker. He sold me this fake stuff that didn't work. The Gerald View. We have drinks, beds, okay, and Okay, I'm food. here to collect payment Which for Razada. I'm sure you are. I purchased one of Razada's... What did he call them? Pleasure candles? Yeah, that's it. He said it would make the customers enjoy their Geral View experience more. In reality, it just clogged the nose. So much so that a few of my regulars nearly choked to death. So, no. I don't think I'll be giving him his money. I mean, that's fair enough, isn't it's it? Fine tune. Intimidate him. I wonder whether the guards will see things the same way. Fine, fine. I don't like it, but here, take the coin. I feel like Imagine such a dick. Getting hung up on a legal technicality. Because I know he's like swindling people. It's quite an agreeable venue. So, like, we're. I just want to see if he gives us anything. Greetings. I'm Ambri. Ambri the Bard. In the mood for a song? I'm not in the mood for a song. Not from you, sir. Whoa, easy there. Whoa, easy there. I love Argodians. They're so funny. 
like the way they speak is joking. How may little Dartacto help a big one such as yourself? One second. Is this? Oh, it's the lady in the stable. Damn it. I've gone the wrong way. Let's take it from the Major's Guild first. I reckon they're going to be pissed about it. Let's have a, have a look, shall we? Okay. Oh, what did he sell? Who did he sell it to? What are you doing? Oh, shit. What is it? I don't know. I was going to ask you the same question. Hello. Don't shit yourself. I'm here to collect payment. Oh, uh, I'm sorry. I completely slipped my mind. Uh, here you go. I wonder what he brought, though. Did he buy anything? I wonder what he actually brought. That makes me intrigued. To be honest. That wizard guy is a massive dick. You're right, yes. Right, let's go to the stable lady. I bet he sold her something stupid for the horses. Like, this will make your horses fly. Why is my horse there? It should be in the bloody stables. Come here, you magnificent beast. Let's take you to the stables where you belong, Sunny Jim. We, we, we. Okay, here we go. Here's the stables. Where is she? What the hell? What the fuck? What's going on here? Honestly, if she didn't have a quest marker above her head, she would be the most camouflaged person in Skyrim right now. Hail, friend. Friend? What the fuck? What is it? I don't know, Lydia. Do you want to tell her or shall I? Hmm? <laughs> I'm here to collect payment. Ah, yes. The enchanted horse hay he sold me. <laughs> what a joke. The only thing magical about the hay was that it caught on fire. Very easily. My horses clippity-clop over it and boom, it goes up in smoke. Nearly burnt down my stable. Clippity-clopped over it? But what about the coin? Well, I managed to get some use out of it as a way of getting rid of pests. Pretty fun to use, too. But he did still swindle me. He is a swindler. Here, take the coin back to Rosada. But tell him to check that his enchanted items actually do what they say they do next time. Okay, nothing going on here. <laughs> she has become one with the wall. Alright, let's run over back to this guy. We've got all the money now, so maybe he'll give us something good. Yeah, they dive rock should be in this mod, so we must find it at some point. Hello. Rizada the Resplendent, Enchanter Extraordinaire, Illusionist Incredible, Restorer Remarkable and Destructor Distinguished at your service. Okay, so this is all the payment. Indeed it is. <clears throat> Why are you looking at me like that? Go on, shoot. Hey man, my reward? Ah, right, that uh, <clears throat> small matter almost slipped my mind. <laughs> Here. Take this spell tome. Oh, what is it? I came up with the spell myself, you know. <laughs> to conjure a zombie. Ooh. <laughs> I want to I modified the standard spell to make it more effective. And I believe you will like the results. Holy shit. This guy. Those gloves are the gloves of is the Sigic Order. Can do for you? That can't be right. He must have stolen mm -hmm. those. Or those gloves, they're using like the same texture. I don't know. That's weird. He shouldn't have those gloves on. Okay, so he gave me a spell tome, right? A spell tome. Where are the spells? Not used to sky UI. Oh my god, I can't find where it is. It is here. Conjure zombie throughout. Summons a cowardly zombie permanently. Let's have a look. 
Let's see what this does. You ready, Lydia? Oh my god, it requires two hands to fucking cast? Are you kidding? I cast Cowardly Zombie. Good morning. Good morning. Alright. Stranger, have you seen my dad? No. Leave me alone, child. Rosada the Resplendent invites you to his boutique of magical wonders. Don't delay. I wonder if my zombie today. does anything. Right, let's kill this guy. I want to see if he's got anything useful on him. Oh, shit. He almost survived that. That was awkward. Um, What were the ornate mage gloves? You see, those are like Sigic order gloves, not mage gloves. I will take them anyway. Hmm. One sec, what was that? Glass Staff of Ice Fear. I want to see if my zombie actually attacks anyone or if it just runs away when it is attacked. Child, experimentation. Attack, zombie. Where are you? Why is my zombie gone? There he is. Look at him. He's ready. He's ready to fight. Attack. Attack, zombie. Go on, zombie. Get him. Get him, boy. Oh Jesus! Oh, this is this is so shit. Oh, no, wait. no That's zombie, right. you're meant to be. Why are you so useless, cowardly zombie? Yes, attack him. No, yes, you're doing. You're sort of not really useful at all. Oh God, how terrible! Anyway, guys, I'm gonna end this stream here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I'll be streaming again on Monday. And I've left the vote link down below in the description if you want to watch some more Skyrim Beyond Beyond Skyrim Bruma Let's Play. I can stream that. Or if you want to watch Oblivion, go and vote down below. Currently, Beyond Skyrim Bruma is winning. So I think by about 9%, about 300 votes or something. So let me know what you guys want to see next time. But I hope you enjoyed this video. I might be streaming later on tonight on my second channel, which is also linked down below in the description. And also on my Twitch channel which is linked down below in the description, like at the bottom somewhere. So you can check it, check me out there. I might play some uh, player unknown battlegrounds, I think it's called. I had my first game yesterday and I thought it was really good fun. So I might jump on that again and see what that's like. But guys, thanks so much for all the support. There are loads of people watching. If you like the video, I really appreciate it. Um, yeah, it was a really good fun stream. You can check out the whole playlist below in the description if you want to see more content right now. I've got my mod video coming out tomorrow. So that's going to make modding really easy for you guys. Literally, you can just download a mod pack and it's going to be like a themed mod pack that I've made. The video comes out tomorrow and it's like survival themed. So you can just download and play Skyrim in survival mode effectively. It works really well. Check out the video tomorrow and I'll explain everything. But I'll see you next time, guys. Thanks very much for watching.